arm assisted chin ups. Single arm exercise is generally talking very good to make sure you balance out um, the differences between the left and right. Um, many times people don't realize when they do, for example, a pulling exercise with a bar or they're doing a chin up, how much more they're using one arm as opposed to the other. So single arms exercise is obviously meant to balance out the left to the right, right to the left as much as possible. Slight difference is completely normal. Don't expect from yourself to be 100% perfect. The human body always have a little bit of differentiation between left to right, right to left. That's completely normal. So gripping on the bar, grip parallel grip when you do a single arm chin up. In a natural setting, if you would try to do a, a, a single arm chin up, what would happen actually is uh, you would grip a bar and doesn't matter what grip you choose, your body would rotate automatically to this position. Like this. So it doesn't matter if you grip a bar like this, as soon as you lift your feet up, your body is going to rotate into a position like this, which is pretty much um, a parallel grip position. Okay? And as you're pulling, it's natural for the body to rotate somewhat as you're pulling yourself up with single arm. Okay? So it's natural for your body as you go down, somewhat rotate outward, and as you're pulling up, you rotate inward. So don't worry about being 100% straight with your body while you're doing this exercise. The thing that you should pay attention is that your neck stays nice and straight. Watch that you don't do uh, upward tilting like this, or don't buckle your head down like so. Try to keep your neck nice in a neutral position. Yeah. So, depending on what kind of assisting equipment you use, this is the total trainer. Um, you can put your arm right behind you, right on your pelvis, wherever it feels comfortable for you. Um, when you're using an assisting machine, like uh, uh, any kind of weight assisted machine, um, just pay attention that the other arm is uh, not gripping on your side and pushing into your body. Okay? It's activating some of the... Uh, the pushing pattern uh, muscles on the other side and perhaps send a little bit of a mixed message for your system. We're trying to activate your pulling and just keep that as a, as a simple note in your mind. Allow this arm to be somewhat free. Okay? So, gripping, going all the way down, make sure your head is in a nice, nice position, pulling yourself up, feel free, allow your body to rotate ever slight bit. Reaching always the bottom position, go all the way down using the full range of the exercise, full range of your joint. You don't need to stop at the bottom, allow yourself the ligaments and tendons to kick in efficiently. So, uh, unless you're particularly focusing on muscle strengthening and not trying to really make your pulling pattern work the most efficiently then uh, you shouldn't really stop at the bottom. If you're a bodybuilder trying to worry about bigger muscles, um, then go for it, stop at the bottom. Uh, that turns off somewhat the um, myostatic stretch reflex and um, your muscles have to work much, much harder. The ideal, in the ideal world, you wanna make sure your muscles, ligaments, and tendons, they all, all work together very efficiently. So in this regard, as you're approaching the bottom position, you should allow yourself to um, bounce ever slight bit. That's when your ligaments and tendons really kicking in. And obviously, you want to repeat the same thing. It's a good idea to sort of make notes how many repetitions you can do on one side as opposed to the other, and balance that, balance them out over time. If you find a huge difference between the two, it's a good idea to do a three-to-one ratio um, for the weaker side. Starting, for example, with the left arm, you do one set, right arm, left arm, and that, that would be considered one set, um, a two to one ratio. If the difference is huge, then you can do a three to one ratio, doing three on the side, which is weaker, till they somewhat balance out. This was the uh, single arm assisted chin-ups.